Okay, we are continuing with the lookup functions in Excel. We're going to talk about the match function, offset, and index functions in this screencast. So I've got a couple of vectors here. I have a row vector, a column vector, and just a 3x3 three three array. The first thing I'm going to do is show you what the match function does. Now you can only use this on a vector, so either a row or a column, not an array, even though it says lookup array down here. So I'm going to look for 4 in this vector. So I'm going to put my what I'm looking for, the lookup vector, and then you specifically have to put a 0 in there if you want an exact match. So when we do this, it's going to look through our vector here for 4, and it's going to tell us that that's the third element. We can also use the match function on a column vector, so maybe I want to look through 9 in my lookup vector for an exact match. We do that, and you get a 4, so 9 is found in the fourth position. So the match function tells you the position of an item in a row vector or a column vector. Next I'm going to explain what the offset function does. You need a base, like a reference cell. A lot of times you can just choose maybe like the upper left hand corner. That's what I like to do. And I want to spit out then the value that's in a cell from the base cell, the reference, maybe something like two rows and two columns away from that reference cell. So I'm going to output uh, eight. So from the reference cell, we can go two rows down and two columns over, and it's going to output an 8. You can also output ranges or arrays. So maybe I highlight something like this, and this is going to be an array function. So I'm going to type in equals offset. Now I'm going to use D10 again as my, my reference. And I'm going to go down two rows and maybe zero columns. So I'm going to start in cell D12. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to output a vector that's going to be one row high, so that's what the height is, and maybe three columns wide. Since I highlighted three cells, I put in this array formula. I'm going to do Control, Shift, Enter, and that gives me then uh, the two, negative six, and eight. So the offset, you start with some sort of base, and then you're kind of offsetting away from it, determining what cells are relative depending upon the position that you put here, the 2 and the 0, relative to your reference cell. So now I'm going to show you how to use the index function. The index function takes an array, which could either be a vector or an actual array. Maybe I want to output something that's in the third row and the second column of an array. I'm going to type in here the index function. The first argument is your array. So I'm going to highlight that. I want to output the element that's in the third row and second column. And then I'm just going to press enter. So this is telling me that third row, second column of my lookup array is a value of negative six. And then I can change this to you know, maybe the first row, second column, and it automatically updates. So these are the basics behind the match, offset, and index functions. Let me go through another example here. What we've got is the months of the year, so January through December. We've got five different people, and we have total sales of each of those individuals in that month. The first thing we're going to do is we allow a spot here for the user to input a month, and I want to add up the total sales of that month. Now, obviously, if I was just looking at month five, I could just do the sum of these items. However, I want this spreadsheet to adapt such that if I change this to July, it'll automatically update for the 7th, and it's not doing that right now. What I'm going to be doing is summing a range, so I'm going to be summing a vector. I'm going to type in sum. Now I'm going to use the offset function. So I'm just going to click in cell A3, that's sort of my base cell. Now I'm going to offset. If I want month 7, then I'm going to offset. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm just going to click cell J6, and that's going to be the number of rows that I'm going to offset. Now, the beginning of the vector that I want to output is going to begin in column B. 
So I need to offset seven rows down, and my starting point then is gonna be one cell over, so I'm gonna put a one. I want the offset function to spit out, for this part of the function, a vector that is five columns. And to do that, the height of that output vector is going to be one, and it's gonna be a width of five for each of the five people there. All right, so the offset function is gonna give me a one by five vector, but then I'm summing that one by five vector, and that'll give me the total sales of July. And I can change this back to May, and it recalculates that. Now we're gonna calculate the maximum individual sale in May, and just by looking through that, we should get Dana. She had the most sales in May, so that's just kind of a check. I'm, I'm gonna use the same thing that I did before, but instead of using sum, I'm gonna do max. So the maximum of a vector. I'm gonna do offset, I'm gonna start at my base there. I'm gonna go down five rows, and I'm gonna start my vector at one column over. Now the, the again, I want this to be a one by five. So when I press enter, it finds the maximum, which is 450. And again, this is all live, so I can change this to something like seven, and it calculates the maximum of July. Now the last part, we wanna determine who made the biggest sale and monthly sale. What we would like to do is in this row here, we want to find, so we're gonna use the match function to see which column 480 is found in, and that should be one for this example in July. To search through just this vector, we're gonna use the offset function. So I'm gonna use the match function. We're going to be looking for 480, so that's my lookup value, and the lookup array is going to be for July would be cells B10 through F10. But that's gonna change depending upon what month the user selects. So to determine the vector, we're again going to use the offset function. I'm gonna start up here. I'm going to offset by the number of months. I'm gonna start that vector in one column over. So this offset part will determine the one by five vector that corresponds to the month. We're gonna find which column, that's what the match function does. And then I have to remember the match type. It's very important that you put a zero at the end of your match function. And this will tell us then the column of the maximum. But the goal of this is to output the name. So to, to do that, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, put an index so I'm looking through this vector. I'm looking through the first row, right? It's only got one row, but then I'm gonna be searching for the column that we did down here. And I'll just press enter. So that determines that Charlie found, had the maximum individual sale. And I can change this to May, and that says that Dana had the, the biggest sale, and I can look through there and of course check it with that. Now the one last thing we need to do is, this is kind of uh, not very good because we have this secondary cell down here that's doing calculation. This cell, so cell J11, is used as the last argument in our index function here. So all I'm going to do is go in here and I'm going to select all of that code besides the equal sign. I'm just going to cut, I'm going to delete the equal, we remove that. And now where I had J11, I'm just going to do control paste and press enter. So now it's all sort of linked into just one big formula.